Hi students, this is Alex here. In subdivision A, they have given a biasuric coin is tossed till a head appears for the first time. We have to find the probability that the number of required tosses is odd. Here, when we toss for the first time, it is possible to get head at the first time itself. But we are going to toss till head appears for the first time. After that, we don't toss. This is one case. Or what can happen when I toss for the first time, I don't get head, I get tail. Then I go for the second toss, I can get head. But in the question they have given, what are the probability that the number of tosses, required tosses is odd. But when we take this case, we have only two tosses. This is not odd. So if you want to get odd, then second time also I have to get tail. Then in the third toss, I have to get head. Then only we get the odd number. The number of required tosses is odd. In the same way, here it is a first toss. Here it is three tosses. Now five tosses has to come. Then only to become odd. So P of T, P of T, P of T, P of T, four tails and one head. Because we toss till head appears for the first time. In the same way, the series keeps going like this. So we can replace this as small p, probability of success, and this as q, that is q into q into p. Similarly, this is q into q into q into q into p plus dot dot dot. So it is an infinite GP. So it is an infinite ge geometric progression where the formula is S infinity is a by 1 minus r where a is the first term from the series it is p and r is second term divided by the first term. So second term is q into q into p divided by the first term is p after cancelling this is q square. So it is p by 1 minus q square. This we can further simplify p by this can be written as 1 square minus q square. So using a plus b into a minus b, we can write it as 1 plus q into 1 minus q. And at the same time, always p plus q is 1. So p is 1 minus q. Therefore, the numerator is replaced with 1 minus q and denominator is written as it is so that we can cancel this 1 minus q and finally be left with 1 by 1 plus q. Now coming to the second subdivision, even here two persons unbiased coin they are tossing alternatively. The first who gets the head wins and if A starts the game we have to find the respective chances of winning. So we know probability of getting a head is 1 by 2 and probability of getting tail is also 1 by 2 because it is an unbiased coin. Now suppose if A starts and we are looking for probability of A winning. Suppose if A starts and first itself A can get head. So, before writing the series, let's write the probability of A and B, that is P of A, the one getting head wins, product getting head is 1 by 2, so this is 1 by 2, P of B, when B gets head also, he wins and its probability also 1 by 2, and when they don't get head, it means they are getting tail, that is also 1 by 2, and in the same way, P of B dash is also 1 by 2. So now we are going to write the series. When A starts, we are looking for the P of A winning the game. So when A tosses first, he wins. Or when A tosses first, he does not win. Then B get a chance to toss. He should not win. Then A get a chance 
and he has to win because we are looking for a winning so at the end a has to win so before a whatever the toss has happened everyone should not get head it means they are not getting the head so coming to the third case when a starts he does not win chance goes to b even he does not win then chance comes to a again he does not win then chance goes to b again he does not win then when a gets the chance he wins so in the same way it continues now we substitute the value this is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 so it is 1 by 2 whole cube and 1 2 3 4 5 terms are there so 1 by 2 whole power 5 plus dot 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 now once again this is infinite gp So s infinity is a by one minus r, where a is the first term from the series. It is one by two, and r is second term divided by the first term. When I divide one by two whole cube by one by two, we left with one by two whole square. That means it is one by four. So we substitute here one by two divided by one minus one by four, and totally this is one by two by 3 by 4. We take this as a reciprocal and multiply here. So after cancelling, this is 2 by 3. So probability of A winning is 2 by 3. Now we are going to write probability of B winning, which is nothing but 1 minus probability of A winning. So 1 minus 2 by 3, which is 1 by 3.